I actually applied for the National Interest Waiver, but was denied. Uh-huh. So I don't know which other option um, well, should it, I take it, to the advice. You should do extraordinary ability. You know, if you think that your work is in the national interest, then you must have something close to extraordinary ability, generally speaking. I think, you know, I don't know why you were denied. I'm not sure what exactly you do that would be in the national interest. But you, but if you're working in the national interest, you're doing something of extraordinary ability generally. I think you need to have a consultation. Let's see what, 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 let me, let me ask you this question before I just tell you to okay. run and have a, what's your, what, what, what did you claim was in the national interest that you were coming to here to do? Um, I'm an optometrist, an eye doctor. You're an eye doc. You're, um, op- you're an optometrist and an eye doctor. Yeah. Okay. So yes. generally speaking, okay, that your work in the national interest can help is not is not for a community base, but it has to be throughout the United States. So, for example, let's say you're a very good optometrist and you and you open up a clinic and you're giving free. I'm, I'm making this up. I don't know what you you know what was in the national interest, but you're giving free medical care to everybody in this community who comes in. You don't charge a penny, and you're doing all this wonderful work for this community. Now, that's not in the national interest. That's in the community interest. You have to show. I'm just giving you as an example why your work is is national in scope and is in the interest of the United States, and why uh, for those who don't don't hear those this question a lot is if your work is in the national interest, you don't need a, a, a labor certification and you just basically sponsor yourself, just similar to being having extraordinary ability. Now, having extraordinary ability means you're one of the top optometrists in the world. Um, I'm not sure where you stand in all of this, and I'm not sure what you do, and we're not going to be able to do this all you know, uh, on our live show, but if you say, what's your next step? Your first step is, let's review what you've done and let's see what qualifications you have. Maybe you just do a labor certification. Maybe you do some sort of work visa. Maybe you do some sort of, you know, I don't know what country you're from, uh, an, e, an E visa, which would be an investor visa, or an L visa, which would be an intercompany transferee, if you've worked in another company for one out of the last three years. I don't know. So, I mean, there's a lot of different options. Uh, maybe uh, your work is in the national interest because you're working in an underserved community but that would be being sponsored by a, an interested government agency. Uh, and a lot of times doctors do that as well. So, so hold on one second, okay?